Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in today's video, we are going to learn a technique called as electrophoresis, which is a separation technique and it is used for separation of amino acids. And we'll also see what is the isoelectric point. So this is a setup for electrophoresis. So what exactly we do in electrophoresis is you take an inert support. You take an inert support. Now what is this inert support? Okay, either it is a filter paper. Okay, either it is a filter paper or or it is some gel. Okay, which gel? Agar agar gel. Okay, agar agar is solidified and formed and a gel is formed. Okay, so in this inert support, what you do is you pour some amino acid solution. Okay, amino acid solution is poured. Okay, suppose I spot here. Okay, in this there will be three different amino acids. We'll see in a moment. Okay, suppose it is a mixture of three amino acids. Okay, it is a mixture of three amino acids that we have to separate. Okay, this is the mixture of the amino acid that we have spotted. Okay, you spot pour some amount of the amino acid mixture what is this this is the amino acid mixture okay that we have to separate and then what you do is you apply an electric field okay that is you connect it to a cell or a battery okay when you apply electric field what will happen there is separation of the amino acids okay all these three amino acids that get separated Okay, amino acids get separated based on their charge okay based on the overall charge so how do this get separated that we have to see now so this will get separated and finally how the spots would look like it would be all the three different spots will be separated okay let's say one spot is here another spot is here and the third spot is somewhere here okay so one of the spot will be closer to a positively charged electrode and another will be closer to a negatively charged electrode so that is what we have to see now so this is the setup of the electrophoresis okay one is one electrode is a cathode which is negatively charged anode is positively charged okay and when this electric field is applied you can see that all the three amino acids are separated okay based on their charges now how do these get separated that that is what we have to see so we know that opposite charges attract right Oppos opposite charges attract okay so here i write the amino acid charge of the amino acid Okay, charge of the amino acid and here I write the charge of the electrode. Okay, so if the amino acid charge is positively charged, it will move towards negatively charged electrode and if it is negatively charged, overall charge of amino acid is negatively charged, it will move towards positively charged electrode. Negatively charged electrode is what? It is cathode. Positively charged electrode is anode. Okay, and if the charge is zero, then it will not move. And that is what we are going to see. What, what is this called as? Okay, so here you can see there are three different amino acids that they, we have taken one is arginine another is alanine and another is aspartate so we are separating these three amino acids based on their charge so what is the overall charge of arginine here you can see there is one positive charge another positive charge and one negative charge so plus one plus one minus one so 2 minus 1 so overall charge is what it is plus 1 so arginine the overall charge is plus 1 so that is why you can see the red spot is closer to the negatively charged electrode that is the cathode okay, it is moved 
closer to the negatively charged electrode. Why? Because this is a positively charged amino acid. Okay. Now let us see the blue spot that is which amino acid aspartate here minus minus and plus one. So minus one minus one plus one the overall charge is what minus one. So this is negatively charged amino acid. So it that is the reason why it is move closer to the positively charged electrode that is the anode. Now what about this black amino acid? This amino acid has zero charge. Okay. It has zero charge and this since it has zero charge it does not move. Okay, so such pH at which the amino acid has zero charge that is nothing but called as the isoelectric point. Okay, so let us see what is isoelectric point. It is a pH at which the sample of amino acids or protein have equal number of positive and negative charges. The number of positive charge is same as that of the negative charge. So the overall charge is what zero that pH at which this happens that is zero charge that is nothing but called as isoelectric point. How do you represent isoelectric point? Small p and capital I. This is the symbol for isoelectric point. It is nothing but pH value. Okay, in simple words what is I, uh, pi or isoelectric point? pH at which there is no net charge. So this alanine amino acid here if you see this did not move in the in the paper okay electrophoresis paper because this has positive charge this is minus one so plus one minus one is zero okay since it has zero charge no charge so it is neither attracted towards cathode nor anode it will remain at the center okay and now the question is how exactly do you get this value okay 6.02 is the isoelectric point for alanine Okay, that is what we are going to see in the next video. What we are going to see in the next video? What is the topic for the next video? How to calculate isoelectric point for any amino acid that is given to us. How to calculate the value of PI or isoelectric point. Okay, so this was one of the separation technique that is electrophoresis. So I hope you have understood how do you separate amino acids? The basic principle is the charge. Okay, the overall charge of the amino acids. Okay, that is important to sep for in the separation of the amino acids. I hope you have understood this technique. Thank you.